over there already shout out to everyone yeah. jumping on our twitter and, and showing us love and we do appreciate it for sure facts man so yeah man it's been kind of um you know the news has been pretty crazy you know um over the last couple of weeks you know with the r kelly getting arrested and a lot of different things have popped off but uh quincy jones who you know we all know his history you know music and you know what all he's done um was pretty much tracked down you know um by tmz and they asked him about r kelly and what he said was very very interesting so i'm going to play this clip here and um we can talk about this definitely here we go r kelly uh, getting indicted finally what do you think about it well, i mean it's kind of a Larry sad Leo. yeah it's kind of a sad day in chicago today yeah, they've been there going a long time man all right here we go you think at the end of it all that you know whatever happens is supposed to happen power yeah. 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 Hey, hey, do you think Jesse Smollett can be forgiven? Um, yeah, because I love him. I met him when he was four years old. Man, and, and um, do you think he's his stupid dog? Do you think his career is over though, Chris? Yeah. yeah. You think it's done? He can't do yeah, a sir. comeback? No, or? that's the way it works, man. No. Today, the information goes so. All right, so that's uh, Quincy Jones, you know, talking about Jesse Smollett, but. R. Kelly, mm -hmm. and what he said was pretty, you know, I thought interesting. What he said, what do you expect? He married a Lee at the age of 14, you know, years old. Um, what, what do you think about that, though, Sam, man, just hearing that, you know, statement from Quincy Jones? Well, Quincy Jones has never been one to shy away from controversy, shy away from saying what's on his mind. I remember last year sometime where he had, I believe, I don't know what magazine it was with, maybe with GQ or um, some other publication where he talked about, uh, Michael Jackson. He talked about um, Richard mm -hmm. Pryor uh, sleeping with Marlon Brando or Marlon Brandow, however you mm -hmm. want to say it, tomato, mm -hmm. tomato. But um, he he really went in mm -hmm. on how um, on a lot of things that were very controversial, had a lot of people talking, a lot of people going in on him. So when you hear him say things like this in regards to the R. Kelly situation, be very candid. Things that we said here on this podcast, though, I mean, I think yeah. we both express the sentiment that when the second you go ahead and marry a 14 year old, 15 year old girl, no matter who she is. And she happened to be Aaliyah that you are, you have a very serious situation going on mentally where you may need potential help for sure. Right. And I think that uh, Quincy Jones is expressing the same sentiment doing it in the way he is. He is getting older now. So, I mean, what did you expect? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I mean, um, yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people feel the same way. Mm -hmm. And we, we talked about here, you know, people kind of knowing, you know, and even the crazy part about this, he talks about Marion and Lee at 14, but then you listen to Michael Av Avnati, who was like the leading, you know, attorney who got the videotapes, um, supposedly, allegedly on R. Kelly, said that in the videotapes that it was uh, repeated references of him, you know, referring to her as a 14-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. So it's just crazy and sick, you know, to see, you know, um, how all this kind of played out. Because I would say like maybe a month and a half ago, we kind of thought that this dude was invincible. I think we even said it. Like, he he's untouchable. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, we see him getting locked up, posting bail. You know, I think somebody else posted the bail for him. Um, and now Quincy Jones speaking on this, man, I think it's pretty crazy. But still, man, I, I, I was listening to some commentary, Um, a few people. And a lot of people seem to think who are around R. Kelly, that Chicago area, for the first trial, that he may be about to win this again. They're not really rushing to, you know, R. Kelly's going to be, you know, um, guilty of this. They kind of think that he may find a way to beat this just because of the time, you know, 20 years and the time span of all this. You know? I'll put it to you like this. Now, I find that really hard to believe, given the fact that he got off on the first case, whether mm -hmm. the whole tape came out and for whatever reason. And we hear it. We all hear the rumors now on why we believe he got off. But nonetheless, he got off. Mm -hmm. I don't see that happening again. Oh, God, I really don't. I don't see lightning, lightning striking twice. For R. Kelly, I see this kind of being in the same situation as like an O.J. Simpson trial where we all knew that he was guilty, but we all wanted him to be innocent. And when he was found innocent, even though it was injustice, we took victory in that because it's always typically happened to us. That being said, mm -hmm. when he got caught up again, if O.J. would ever get caught up again, that motherfucker wasn't getting out. I feel like this is almost the same situation. And when you add the lifetime when you add the interviews, when you see the whole thing that culminated all throughout the year with, um, I forgot her name, but the young lady and then her father mm -hmm. and all of the, that whole debacle and then Lifetime and now this, I think we see ourselves in a situation where whether or not 
he is innocent. Whether or not the evidence is outstanding and the defense can put together a defense to where it's outstanding in the sense of R. Kelly being innocent, I still don't see him getting away, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, well, we shall uh, definitely see because, you know, um, did they give a – when is he due to go on trial? Did they give any indication of that? He's due back in court soon. It's March 22nd. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they'll probably set a trial from there. So, um, yeah, we'll see, man. It's going to be very interesting, though, um, to see, you know, um, as more and more stuff comes out through the trial, we'll be covering that and seeing what exactly, you know, happens. Um, I mean, always the presumption is that he's innocent. You know what I mean? We have to, you know, um, just stay on that side of it. But it just kind of looks like, you know, with all they talking about, they got videotapes this time and, you know, you it could be over for him, definitely. What's your personal thought? I know, I mean, I know we don't usually throw our personal thought, but just your, your perspective mm -hmm. on this, man. Do you feel as though, from a, just a man's perspective, not a man, old guy's perspective, that right. he deserves any jail time for this? Um, if he did it, yeah. Like, if he, if he actually did, you know, was really doing that, those videos are real. That's really him with 14 year old girls. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Um, but if they, if, if there's a lot of evidence, you know, that points to, you know, some things being fabricated, whether it be on, you know, her side, the, uh, the accusers, you know, lies and different things like that, then it could, I could definitely could be skeptical about certain aspects of the case. But I'll be watching to see, you know, how the evidence is laid out, you know. But if he if he did do this with 14 year old, absolutely, he should be in jail. Now, let me ask you, this, let me ask you this question. This is kind of this isn't going to be an easy one, but let's All just right. take it to this gray area. Um, If, in fact, this is him with the girls that we all know from a morality standpoint, that man deserves to be in jail and deserves to be under the jail. But let's just say from just a legal standpoint, his lawyers can come up with a plot to say, Hey man, this is beyond the statute of limitations. This is too old, blah, 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 blah. And they have a case and I'm not sure if they do. I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm just talking right now. And they ended up having the, the strong enough case for him to beat this. What should happen to R. Kelly? Does he still deserve jail time in your your mind? Does <laughs> does the evidence? What I'm saying is, if they have the evidence to uh, portray the case that this is beyond statute of limitations, mm -hmm. according to the book of law, he right. deserves to be out. Are you leaning toward the side of okay, he deserves to be out based off of evidence and based off of the book term, or are you more leaning I'm toward I'm morality? At, I'm looking at the you know like full like do they have evidence of this being him? You know what I'm saying? That actually well, with with all these women when they were at this age mm -hmm. at 14, not there, no discrepancy of age. But like if you could prove that they were 14, it was him in the video, you know, um, the DNA matches, then, yeah, the dude, I think he should go away. But if I start seeing discrepancy, because, again, we didn't see the defense yet. All we're hearing is about what the prosecution has. But once the defense fights that and say, OK, you said this, but this is what it really was, then things can start changing. So that's why they go to court. To dick for both sides to be weighed, but personally, I kind of feel like he's going to lose. I just feel like that. Do you think it'll be because he'll he'll get a fair share, or you think the evidence will stand toward him being that man in that video doing those? <laughs> well, disgusting they saying they have here. DNA evidence, and it's weird. Like, well, yeah, but they saying they have it. So yeah. I mean, unless they don't, unless that's some type of a lie, or they can prove some other way that it's not his DNA, some other, you know, um, I think that's going to be huge right there. Now, if they didn't have DNA evidence. And it's all up as all speculation, not only DNA, videotape. Now, that videotape's enough for me, right? Yeah, yeah, if that's I see dude yeah. on the videotape saying what he's saying to that, and it right. being a girl, that's enough for me. Damn, I don't care DNA. what year it was made, exactly. Right. I don't right. give a fuck what year it was made. If, he, right. if I, you see him doing something that wild and it's him on tape, that's enough, point blank. And like period. I said, he it, it, it's, it's so sick to what they're saying on the videotape. He's like, come here with your 14 year olds, like crazy stuff like that. Like, the dude is really, you know, allegedly taking it. You know, what I mean, the sickness to the to, to like to the extreme, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, yeah, if he did this, he needs to sit in jail definitely for, for a while for this because this, this is this is predatory behavior, you know, on a, on a vulnerable, the, the most vulnerable, you know, part of our society. Definitely, yep. definitely, man. But yeah, man, you're tuned into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother, old God and Sam, man. Going in today on this Tuesday, I want to say peace to everybody listening on iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. If you can, please just share this link with a friend. Tell them that the Uncensored True Podcast is on the air right now. I want to move to this next story, Sam, man, and talk about, you know, the Oscars. But